Hi team, welcome to today's live stream. I've, if we haven't met before, I'm Monique Bradley and welcome to my kitchen. I am, uh, if you're following me on Facebook, I'm the woman who has lost more than 40 kilos in weight. I don't know what that is, is that like 90 pounds? Uh, for those of you who use the other system of measurement. Um, but, but yeah, pretty much using food, I've completely transformed my health, my well-being all through amazing food and going low carb. Now, the reason why I'm getting started over here tonight is that I've got a hot pan heating up and I'm just about to pop some bacon bits. I've got about 200 grams of bacon bits right here that I wanna get frying right now so we can chat. So that's going straight into my pot tonight. So tonight's low carb delicious recipe is one of my favorites. I actually make this recipe all the time. It's, the base of it is a beautiful uh, steamed cauliflower dish. So it's creamy cauliflower with bacon bits. And the reason why I love it is it's got that delicious kind of salty umami flavor that we all love. But in the same way that you might do a chicken alfredo or a, a creamy pasta dish, I'm replacing all the grains, all the carbs with cauliflower. So I've actually pre-steamed my cauliflower. I've got it in here. I pre-steamed half a cauliflower. It took six minutes in the microwave. And the reason why I'm using cauliflower is, get this, it's really, really high in fiber, which is great for our gut. It's extremely, extremely good for us. So it's loaded with, I'm just reading my notes, um, vitamin C, vitamin K, vitamin B6. It's loaded with folate, potassium, main harbors, or you're on a, a, a healthy eating plan, and you notice that you can't go to the toilet properly. A dish like this, which is really fiber, is gonna help you out as well. Why I also love this, Cauliflower, my friends, just 25 calories per cup of cauliflower. So all up, this will make two servings right here. So this will serve two people. Oh, hi, Linda, good to see you. Oh, I'm glad that you um, love being able to follow my recipes as well. Great to see you guys. Um, the reason why I love it too is this is a really fantastic replacement for pasta. So if you love lasagna and dishes like that, I make a lasagna, but I use steamed cauliflower in replacement for my sheets of pasta. Really fantastic, really versatile. Just put my hood on there. And what I love about this is it's just so quick. So it took me six minutes to steam my cauliflower and normally I would uh, do that in the same time as my bacon's cooking, but I thought I'd do this on camera with you guys. I like the diced bacon for this recipe. I'm not using any oil to cook my bacon because there's a lot of oil um, and fat that comes out of the bacon anyway. But what this does is it creates that yummy salty flavor in the base of my dish, which I want to give the depth of flavor. So the sauce for this, because really it is just literally a couple of ingredients. So the sauce for this is amazing. Now I use the same sauce. I'm putting here about a cup of cream into my container here. Um, the sauce is made from uh, a cup of cream, a great big tablespoon, I'm quite generous, of cream cheese. This is so good, like seriously, I use this with chicken, people have been using this with fish, uh, you can use this with, people have been using this with beef, this exact same sauce. So you can even make the sauce separately and heat it through in a pot, thicken it through in a pot. So this is kind of a low carb replacement for a bechamel sauce or a, a roux sauce or something like that, but it's super creamy. By the way, recipe is on my website, moniquebradley.tv. Fantastic. But of course you'd think, okay, so cream, cream cheese, and a little bit of bacon. How's that going to be delicious and tasty? Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's where the magic happens here, my friend. Grainy mustard. So mustard is one of the things, one of the condiments that if you're A blood type like me, you can eat, but at the same time, it's low in carbs. Now I'm not talking the American mustard, I'm talking about the, the, you know, the traditional grainy stuff. 
because it's grainy, again, loaded with fibre, good for the gut, gets you going to the toilet, and that's what we like. So the whole lot goes into my blender. Now, here's a trick for new players. If you want to make this sauce, don't over-mix it. Otherwise, it turns into like a thickened cream or a butter, and we don't want to do that. Now, you don't need to add any salt or pepper to this. Just check my bacon, because you've got all that delicious salty flavour from the bacon to start with. So you've got your depth of flavour. You don't need to add anything. And what I love is, while there's bacon and fat in here, it's also a plant-based meal. So for those of you who want to eat more plant, you can do it this way. Next thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lift up my cauliflower and I'm going to pop it in here because I just, while it's all steamed, so six minutes in the microwave, it might take you longer if you're doing it on a stove top. I just want to fry that off slightly, give it a little bit of a crisp through. Hi everybody, by the way, I can see you guys watching. Make sure you say hi. And also, always remember, these recipes for my live streams are all on my website, MoniqueBradley.tv. Now, on a Tuesday, on a Monday, I do my health diary, so there's always information to share if you want to pop in there if you've got any health questions. My Tuesday live streams are either my style fix shows, and I share all the information about that style on my website as well. So whatever it might be, whether it's support garments or how to cover a, a, a curvy tummy. Yesterday we were talking about body image and how to dress for your body shape. Whatever the topic is, the information goes into my website. Wednesday is always my, my yummy low carbon keto cooking shows. Thursdays is all about makeup and beauty and skincare. So if you want to find out more, just head to my website and you'll see all the blogs there. And while you're there, make sure you sign up to my newsletter because I send you out inspiration and motivation and new recipes every week. And it is great. I enjoy it anyway. And all the feedback from people who are on my mailing list, so they enjoy my, my newsletters as well. Okay, so it's a really super simple creamy sauce. All that mustardy goodness is there on the bottom. I just want to have a quick check and make sure we're all mixed through. Oh yeah, looking good, looking great. So the mustard in here just gives the sauce a little bit of a tang. And again, you can use it with fish. If you really love white fish, this is great. And you can even cook it. You can use this with chicken in the microwave. It'll take you about six minutes to cook your chicken in there. But at the same time, um, you can put it with fish. White fish will probably cook in about three minutes, which is great. Always check it, though, uh, because every microwave is different. Hi, Belladonna Lee. Oh, my goodness. Yummy. You say it looks yummy? Seriously. It is decadent. So I actually made this the other night. We had my friend Romina from Argentina over to visit. And we were hungry, so I had some cauliflower, courtesy of my lovely friend Rachel Thompson, who was on my stream uh, last night. And I made this dish, and Romina said, oh my goodness, this is the most delicious thing I have ever eaten, to the point where she said, you have to give me the recipe, which is why I ended up loading that recipe into my website. So it's all there, it's right on the front page. Now you notice, as you have a look here, I don't know if you guys can see, but that mixture is still a little gluggy in the bottom, and I'm okay with that. Where is my spoon? And the reason why I want that is as, as all that, um, as all that, cream starts to bubble away all of that cream cheese is going to melt down again i didn't want to over mix it but i did want to blend some of that mustard through to start with just to make sure we've got a really nice flavor base in there now that's going to simmer away like that now if you're if you notice that when you get your cauliflower and it's still a little kind of a little bitey one of the things that you can actually do depending on you know the size of your pan and that sort of thing, is if you want your cauliflower to be a little more tender. So maybe you grew up with a parent who overcooked your cauliflower and it wasn't kind of, it didn't have a bite to it. It was really soft and squishy. One of the things I would suggest is grab a big pot lid and pop it on top. And now this, I don't have a pot lid that's big enough for this, but I would just pop this in here. And what that will do is it will actually hold in all the steam and that steam will go back into your food so your cauliflower will become really tender but at the same time it infuses the flavour deeper into your cauliflower. Totally optional, you don't have to. I personally think a fast meal is a good meal because I want to cook it really fast, I get a bit hangry. So I, um, if I've got time I'll let it steam a little bit more and get that, that cauliflower really tender. If it's already tender before you even start, look, why worry? You don't have to worry about it. So I'd normally let that simmer and thicken for around up to about five minutes. 
But the good news is that is practically ready to serve right now. So you saw how quick that was. Like literally, <laughs> what, five minutes I think it is? Oh, it's nice to see you guys. Linda, must try this, Monique. It looks delicious. Uh, Linda, seriously. What, what I can tell you is the longer you cook it for, the tastier it is. And in fact, if you do have any left over, keep it for the following day and it will be even tastier the next day. Like, I'm not even kidding. It is one of the most remarkable dishes. And whether you want to replace... Look, if you've got carb eaters in your house, you can use the same recipe with noodles. You can use the same recipe with, if you're low carb like me, you can pop konjac noodles in here, which are amazing as well. Um, I did the same recipe on my live stream a few weeks ago, but I cooked chicken in here. So no bacon, just chicken, and then I served it on a bed of konjac noodles. So however you want to cook it, you can. You can totally replace the ingredients. And again, you can also do the same recipe in the microwave, which I think is super good. The recipe is on my front page of my website, nickbradley.tv. So you can literally go to my website and grab this recipe. And I tell you what, the fact that it is so quick, it's actually ready to serve now. The fact that it is so quick means it's one of those go-to dishes. If you've got a cauliflower in your, in your cupboard, uh, sorry, in your cupboard, in your pantry, if you've got some bacon bits, well, you should always, I think every low carb or every keto practitioner always has bacon somewhere in their diet. If you've got these ingredients, then you've got a really delicious, semi-plant-based, very decadent dinner, but it still fits within those low carb keto guidelines. It works out at around 250 uh, calories per serving, and most importantly, it is freaking delicious. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I'm just gonna put this on the bench for you guys so you can ogle it. I'm gonna see if Pete, who's my producer and director, can bring the camera down so that you can see its gloriousness up close. Pete, is that possible? Oh, oh, I mean, look at that. Look. Oh, yeah. I think the camera just got a little excited there. Um, but, yeah, really good. Oh, the steam, apparently. The steam got it all excited. So, yeah, literally a fast and easy dinner. I mean, how long did that take? Not too long at all. And the most important part is that you're getting low. Sure, there's a lot of fat in here, too. I don't have a problem with fat. I have a problem with sugar. Sugar and carbs are not, are not my friend. So for me, eating something like this, I only need a really small portion. So that's, this is half a cauliflower in here, friends. Half a cauliflower to serve two people. It's cheap as chips. This whole dinner probably costs $2.50 a person. It's roughly 250 calories a serving. What is not to love? I don't know. Could there be anything better in the world? I don't know, but this is a great alternative for those of you who love mac and cheese as well. So fantastic, you can eat this and you never feel like you're missing out. And I think when we're trying to change our lives and we're trying to change our weight and we're trying to find foods that are a great alternative to the carb-based ones that we've grown up with, that we know and love, replacing your key ingredient with something like cauliflower is an absolute winning formula at just 25 calories per cup of cauliflower seriously stuff 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 so as always I better taste it because the proof of the pudding is in the eating right oh my goodness I'm not even kidding back up the truck and sh shut the front door. That's all I've got to say. That is magic. Now, a number of the people in my Facebook group have actually made this recipe. They love it. It's one of their go-to recipes. If you're not in my Facebook group, you need to join immediately. In about a week and a half's time, I'll be doing a special webinar just for that group, all around how to change your mindset if you want to choose, retrain it to help you lose weight. So that's a special webinar just for my Facebook group. If you're not there, look for Easy Living with Monique Bradley. Join the group. You can do that right now. And remember, head to my website for all the details of this recipe. It's right there on the front page for you guys. Anyway, nice to see you guys. Oh, Morris Simonson, you love creamy cauliflower. I mean, who doesn't love creamy cauliflower? Plus, it's low carb. Tanya Martin, thank you for sending through that smiley face with hearts. Hearts right back to you. 
easy, fast, delicious, plant-based and bacon, my life is complete. All right, guys, see you very soon. A big thank you to Pete Ward, my producer and director. He's that online guy. He helps make this possible because he is a genius. Thanks to everybody who's watching on Periscope as well. I can see all your hearts going through. So really nice to see you guys as well. And as always, stay fabulous, guys. Eat good food. Bye. See you next time. Oh, delicious.